Hi guys and welcome to Core and Soul Pilates. My name is Marietta and today I'm going to talk through the fourth principle of stop Pilates, which is scapular movement and stabilisation. But before I continue, I'd just like to double check and see if you've watched videos one to three and if you haven't, please proceed to do so. It will just set you up for watching this one, okay? So you may be wondering what scapula are, and it's just another word for shoulder blade, okay? So we've got two of them located on our back here. So these, these triangular shaped bones, okay? Now, we have a lot of movement in our shoulder joint because of our scapula. And that's because our scapula attached to only one other bone, so the end of the collarbone, that's where they join. So the rest of the scapula is supported by muscle. So in Pilates, we want to balance those surrounding muscles to provide stability and control the movement in your shoulder joint, okay? Now, I want you to imagine that your shoulder blades, your scapula, are, are like suction pads and they hug onto your rib cage. And when you move your arms, your scapula just glide across your rib cage without sticking out or winging. And if you're wondering what winging is, I can show you. So if I just turn around here, and if I do this here, do you see how that inner border of my shoulder blade is sticking up off the rib cage? Whereas here, it's nice and snug. So that's the difference. Here we've got winging and a bit of anterior tipping. That's where the bottom of the scapula come off the rib cage. Whereas here, it's nice and flat against the rib cage. That's what we want to achieve in Pilates, okay? So, if I swivel around again. So, our scapula can do six movements. If you did watch video three, you would have already covered upward and downward rotation. So now we're just gonna focus on the other four movements. So I'm just gonna sit on this block and be on the side and I sit on the block just so I can have that natural curve in my lower spine okay so my pelvis is in neutral now just float your arms straight ahead and your palms are facing and I want you to imagine you're holding a helium balloon between your hands so just inhale and reach the balloon away from you and then exhale draw your shoulder blades together like they want to kiss so we inhale, reach the balloon away, and then feel your shoulder blades separate, and then exhale, draw your shoulder blades together. So keep going with this movement. It's a very small one. We're just isolating the muscles that both protract and then retract the shoulder blades. And I just wanna check in that you're not moving your spine and there's no tension in your neck when you're doing this, okay? And your shoulders are dropped away from your ears. Now just return your shoulders back to neutral, so in between those two positions, and then just lower your arms down. So we're done with that one. Now I'm just gonna swizzle to the front, and now we're gonna do elevation and depression. So I just want you to inhale and lift your shoulders to your ears, and then exhale, slide your shoulders all the way down. So inhale to lift, and then exhale, sliding your shoulders down your back, lower than the start position, away from your ears. So keep going with this, and I just wanna check that when you depress your shoulders, you're not rounding forward. So they're not coming forward, you're staying wide across the collarbones, okay? So one more time, inhale to lift, and exhale to lower back down. Now, in Pilates, we always want to stabilize our scapula before doing an exercise, and that's really important because it helps prevent tension, okay? So a stable position is when our shoulders are down, whereas instable is when they're lifting, and that's really common to do, but we've always got to remember to slide the shoulders down and away just to avoid that tension, okay? So cues that I often use are lower your shoulders away from your ears or slide your shoulders down your back and another good one is that you can imagine that you're holding a newspaper underneath your arm so just that gentle pressure and we stay wide across the collarbones and if you just gently engage you can feel your shoulder blades nice and snug on your rib cage okay so they're the cues that i use 
and I hope you found this useful and that you can bring these um, print this principle to your Pilates practice. Um, my next video will be on the fifth and last principle of head and cervical placement. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you next time. Okay, cheers. Bye bye.